Hey, what's going on? So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about my lighting setup that I use for various events, wedding receptions, and portraits. Quick FYI, I use Godox and Flashpoint in combination to each other and I have no issues with syncing or anything like that. They are the exact same thing. They just have different brand names and model names, but yeah. Same exact thing and you can work flawlessly with both of them at the same time. First piece of lighting equipment, I'm not gonna go too in detail. This isn't a review video or anything like that. I have the Godox AD200 with both heads. I use this one when I'm using a soft box. This is when I'm using it, doing events. I think it's called a Fresnel head or something like that. But really good light, definitely small and pocketable and fit in your camera bag with these. Next I have two speed lights. I have the Zoom R2 and the Zoom R2 TTL C. The C is just for Canon because that's what camera brand I use and the TTL is I think an automatic flash mode but I usually keep everything on manual as much as I can. And the reason why I like this one is because it can be a transmitter and I can use it on camera and have this one off camera and this one off camera and be able to transmit a signal to set them off. And I can also control the power from this one speed light. Now, if I wanna have all three of them off camera, I'll just put this on top of my camera and it's just a flashpoint R2C trigger. And I can also have groups. I can set up different power settings. I can turn them on and off if I want to and things like that. But yeah, like I said, I have Flashpoint and Godox and all of this equipment works fine together. No issues. Next up are the modifiers I use. I have two of these bounce uh, cup things and they just fit on top like that to help kind of diffuse some of the light. You can get these pretty cheap anywhere, but it depends on what I'm doing and how I'm shooting, if I use them or not, but usually they stay on my speed lights all the time. The next flash diffuser I have, or fairly new to me, are these Celine flash diffusers. But they're pretty much just a MagMod clone or a dupe, knockoff, whatever you wanna call it. I just call it a dupe or a clone. But these work really good too. I've only used them maybe two or three times, but the light, it really does a good job of softening the light. Um, and the magnets are very strong. You really have to shake your camera pretty hard to get these off of your camera. The next modifiers are what I use when I'm really going off camera. I have two translucent white shoot through umbrellas. These have been through a lot, probably more <laughs> than they are meant to withstand. And they still going. I use these a lot for portraits. The next lighting, lighting modifier I have is usually when I do like top down stuff is this umbrella like soft box thing. And on the inside it's a reflective, highly reflective silver. And I usually keep this around cause I don't know when I, I'll need it, but it works good too. And one of my newest pieces of equipment that I use a lot for portraits, maybe about the same amount as the shoot through umbrellas, is the Glow 34 inch uh, Easy Lock Softbox, or I'm sorry, Octabox. And it just opens up like an umbrella as well. And you pretty much just take off, pull this Velcro off and slide your hand in and it'll open up and lock in then you'll have a softbox, octabox, or beauty dish, I'm sorry. And this is what it looks like fully open, really easy to open up, and the light is really soft from it too. And I just either have my S bracket in here with a speed light or with my AD200 or with a strobe if you have a strobe. Yeah, I can highly recommend this. And yeah, that's pretty much it when it comes to my lighting setup that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. I appreciate you watching this video, clicking, you could have been doing anything else, but you spent a couple minutes to see what type of lighting setup I use. So like, subscribe, do all of that good stuff that you're supposed to include in an outro, and I'm still terrible at outros, but anyway, thank you for watching.